Prop 22. Looking at Uber and Lyft, independent contractors, we know that there was a huge um, debate, uh, what, a year ago around AB5, um, the threat that um, the tech companies put on play to say, hey, if you go through with AB5, we will put $110 million behind a ballot initiative to overturn it. And I think we're all seeing that in the commercials and our social media feeds. So tell us a little bit of behind what you think is going on with uh, Prop 22. Well, Prop 22 uh, is uh, deals with whether or not someone is an employee or an independent contractor in gig-based work. Uh, so from the transportation companies to the food delivery companies to uh, things like uh, high, uh, uh, handy, tidy, uh, task rabbit and the like, and uh, how people are on demand. The, the, the tech companies say that they are digital platforms. The state government says it believes they are employers because of a, a test uh, on whether or not they're employees or not. It's a three or four part test. This proposition is worded as such. If you vote yes, status quo. Gig work is gig work. They're independent contractors. If you vote no, that means that gig workers and tech companies that partner with gig workers, they don't employ them currently. They uh, then become employees. The tech companies say that they're going to have to lay off a lot of people if they become employees, that they can't afford it. Um, labor unions and consumer groups and some lo uh, legal uh, authorities believe that gig workers should be considered employees of the organizations whose platforms they work on. 